The world is changing. Businesses need to change. Customers today demand a lot more from businesses and so do our employees. At Bank of the West, our strategy is to create a positive environment for the society and the world. The UN SDGs are important for sustainable growth because they're creating a blueprint for a global development agenda. And they're looking at addressing the most pressing challenges we face today, anywhere from climate change to gender inequality. At Bank of the West, UN SDGs are a part of our strategy and business practices. The two in particular are gender equality and clean and affordable energy. Having more women in executive and leadership positions is extremely important to ensure that we have diverse opinion in the boardroom and in every meeting. 50% of the world's population are women. We need to mirror the clientele we serve. Correcting the gender imbalance in the banking industry is not only the right thing to do, but it is also really good for business. Women are a huge prospective customer base, and if you look at women-owned businesses, for example, they've grown 21% over the last five years, while all other businesses have grown 9%. In addition, an IMF study recently revealed that banks with more women on their boards have higher capital buffers, a lower share of bad loans, and greater resistance to financial stress. Economic research shows that having more women in the workforce has a number of important benefits, including stronger economic growth, reduced poverty, increased labor productivity and innovation. Women bring a number of important skills to the labor force, and they also increase the size and competitiveness of the labor pool. U.S. economic research has shown that a 10% increase in female labor force participation increased real wages for all workers by 5%. At Bank of the West, we take gender diversity very seriously. In fact, nearly 40% of my executive team are women and we promote diversity throughout the organization. Gender inequality has a significant impact on business outcomes. Increased gender diversity correlates with more productive firms as measured by market value and revenue growth. There are three reasons for this. One, a diverse workforce is a magnet for talent. When you value diversity, you encourage the exchange of diverse ideas and a diverse workforce signals competent management to investors. Our parent company, BNP Paribas, is a great supporter of the United Nations He for She movement and is focused on creating gender diversity throughout the organization. Bank of the West is really proud to support women at all stages of their professional development. We hold an annual leadership program for women entrepreneurs from around the globe featuring lecturers from the Stanford Graduate School of Business. We're also really proud of a partnership we have with Grameen to help put microfinance in the hands of women to start businesses and invest in their communities. Climate change is the most urgent issue facing the planet today. We've made bold decisions on what we finance and what we don't to save the planet. Bank of the West has the strongest environmental stance of any major bank. We have policies that prohibit lending in sectors that are harmful to the planet, including fracking and shale and tar sands mining. And we have financing policies that restrict lending to other harmful sectors, such as coal-fired power plants, wood pulp, and palm oil. This is our way of creating positive change. There's this perception out there that renewable energy is just too expensive. But the economic research on this is actually quite promising. A recent study has shown if we double the amount of renewable energy in the global economy by 2030, we could increase global GDP growth by 1.1 percentage points and increase global employment by 24 million jobs. Bank of the West is dedicated to sustainable finance, and it's important that we put our money where our mouth is. In 2018, Bank of the West targeted $1 billion in new financing for renewable and clean energy, 
to help people transition to zero emission vehicles, and to support projects that are focused on energy efficiency or conservation. It's estimated that climate change will cost the U.S. economy hundreds of billion dollars by the end of this century. And even in a low emission state, they expect at least a 0.2 to 0.4 percentage reduction in U.S. GDP towards the end of this century. Climate change has the potential to have profound negative effects on California's economy and industries, but it also presents an opportunity for California to show leadership in some of these new emerging industries like clean energy, like self-driving vehicles, like bioengineering. California has a lot of the elements necessary to be a leader right now. A great educated workforce, um, a state and local governments that support a lot of these industries and initiatives. We can really uh, be a leader nationally and emerge as a leader globally as well. Collective progress can be reached when institutions and individuals realize that the bank they choose can have profound implications on society's needs and challenges. For example, most recently, the city of West Hollywood moved their accounts to Bank of the West because of our values. This is a great example of city leaders creating positive change on behalf of their constituents. Our hope is that our policies will reach the world and go beyond the boundaries of California. Leaders should be asking themselves, why wouldn't they create a value-based culture? Why wouldn't they redefine their industries for a better future?